The last question on the Unit 9 test review comes from Lesson 9.7 on applications of the quadratic formula. For this lesson, we focused on vertical motion problems, and the general equation for vertical motion problems is h of t equals negative 16t squared plus v sub 0 t plus h sub 0, where h of t represents the vertical height at any time t, v sub 0 is the initial velocity, and h sub 0 is the initial height from which the projectile was released. Now, in our notes, we talked about two different types of problems, how long it takes to hit the ground, and at what ob time the object reaches a particular height. In our test review here, we're just gonna focus on the first one, how long does it take to hit the ground? And for the ground, assume the height is zero. So we're gonna set h of t equal to zero and solve for t with the quadratic formula. There will be one answer because we'll have to eliminate the negative answer since time can't be negative. On question 13, it says for vertical motion problems, h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus v sub 0 t plus h sub 0, where v sub 0 is the initial velocity in feet per second and h sub 0 is the initial height in feet. Here in this scenario, we have if a tennis ball is launched upward from an initial height of 28 feet with an initial velocity of 34 feet per second, how long will it take for the tennis ball to hit the ground? Well, first the initial height is our h sub zero and the initial velocity is the v sub zero. So if we start off with our equation h of t equals negative 16 t squared, now we can replace v sub zero with 34. So I have 34 t and then I can replace h sub zero with 28. So this is our equation and then we're looking for how long it takes to hit the ground and the ground has a height of zero. So let's just set this equation equal to zero so we're going to be solving negative 16t squared plus 34t plus 28 equals 0. And now we'll solve this using the quadratic formula, which is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant all over 2a. Let's go ahead and find the discriminant first. Here the a value is negative 16, b is 34, and c is 28. So if I go to my formula for discriminant, Discriminant equals b squared minus 4ac. Let's plug our numbers in. So that's 34 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times 28. And these numbers are going to get pretty big, so I would recommend that you just type that into your calculator. And when I typed that into my calculator, I got 2,948. So that's my discriminant. And now I can go to my quadratic formula here and go x equals opposite of b. Now b is 34, so opposite of b is negative 34. And then it's plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, which we just calculated was 2,948. And that's divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times negative 16. So we can do that quick. That's negative 32. So now to get our two answers, for the first answer, we're going to do negative 34 plus the square root of 2,948, put that in parentheses, and then divide it by negative 32. And you can type that whole thing in your calculator just like how I wrote it right there. And when I just typed that one in, I got negative 0 0.63. So that answer there doesn't make sense because a time can't be negative. Let's try the other case, okay? I just did the plus of the plus or minus, now we have to do the minus. So negative 34 minus the square root of 2,948. Enclose that in parentheses and then divide by negative 32. And when you type that into the calculator, it ends up being 2.759. I'm going to again round to the nearest hundredth, which is two decimal places. The nine there rounds up. So let's go 2.76, and that's the time in seconds when the tennis ball will hit the ground.